My life would be so fucking different if you just never fucking made me download TikTok. Five, and I also don't like. Hey, four, I get, we get it. You three, watch TikToks. You don't, two, two, one. David Fraley. You don't have to make everybody in your life watch TikToks or download birthday. TikTok app. Happy birthday! Thank you. Um, <laughs> special birthday edition. Special birthday edition. Uh, I want to do. Shouldn't have had to record today. Uh, we already recorded this week, so this is technically our second podcast this week. Uh, but ran out of this space. And you know why? This is actually your fault. <laughs> Which you, I know that this is like one of your favorite traits of mine is that when something that I do partially wrong, but I throw it all on you. Mm-hmm. You really like when I do that. Um, but you downloaded Warzone on my computer. You know that Warzone's not on. No, it's on the same. It's on my solid state drive. And this is all on my solid no, state. No, it isn't. Yeah, 100%. The solid state drive is the first drive. This is the second drive. It isn't the. This is Warzone is not on this. Sure. So <laughs> let's just lie. So it is. Let's lie fault. to the audience. All right. No, it isn't. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I can show you. Can You're seriously it. going to lie to our like I couple of viewers. I have no problem stopping this, pausing just to see. Nope. No, 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 it's fine. No, we'll just we'll take my word on it. <laughs> We'll take my word on it. You have no idea what you're talking about. But yeah, about it's my birthday today, which is cool. No, I know what I'm t- always talking about. Always. Actually. Are we at an hour yet? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm fucking done. We just throw a couple zeros. We could. You know what we should do? We did should... you forget we were doing this today? No. I did. Did you? I. You know, I didn't realize that you had texted me 28 minutes ago or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and I was going to be like, oh, I kind of hope that he forgets because yeah. you know, because, because I've been, you, if, I've been napping all day. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. I if won't go. I don't do anything, yeah. you just assume that you don't have to do. I'm like your father. Like, just fuck it. Why can't you be an adult? <laughs> well, it's that way for everything, right? Like, if I have plans and say I never get texted, I won't go out of my way to text anybody i know i don't know why no matter who it is and and then you assume it's their fault no i don't i no because here's the thing the t- i think that it, you was your, your, it was your birthday yesterday mm-hmm. or like people are we were playing video games for your birthday yeah and tyler rogney was like he called you and he goes i've been trying to get a hold of you for the past <laughs> weeks <laughs> yeah and now you're mad that nobody wants to do anything for your birthday but i'm not mad I was very happy, but yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't mad at all that we didn't do anything. Oh, you're for gonna me. just pretend like that was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because then we'll just cut it right there. Yeah, that's fine. Two thirty-five. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Boy, I'm not gonna pretend like we didn't just have to make a little cut there. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm trying to like pick up on the comment because what were we talking about? I would have completely forgot if I didn't just rewatch that. What were you saying? Uh, you were talking about Tyler Rogney calling me and going, "Hey, I've been trying to call you for weeks." Oh yeah, right. Yeah. And uh, he was like, pretty much fucking last thing that you said uh, was, yeah, now you're going to be mad that everybody's not doing anything for your birthday. But in reality, I think that he was more mad that we weren't doing anything for my birthday because he his girlfriend was away on like a girl's weekend. Yeah. And he just wanted to hang out with people in general. And it was convenient that it was also my birthday. So there was a reason to do something. I like when, um, so we were playing video games and I... I could hear him through your, he called you. So I could hear him through like the internet. Yeah. People were in the discord and somebody was like, who is that? Yeah. Well, that was Gally. Yeah. Gally's Gally's really goofy. Right. (laughs) I just like their reactions of of not knowing that you could have friends outside of World of Warcraft. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's like a, and it's weird because, especially him and Jorm and stuff, like, the f- people that I've known a long time on World of Warcraft and, like, video games, I've known for, like, during the times when I would do stuff every weekend, and they're, like, my Snapchat friends, so they see pictures of me doing stuff. Yeah. But it's, like, so surprising sometimes that, like, there's just random people that hit me up, and I ignore them <laughs> constantly. I'm very frustrated that that last episode didn't get... um saved yeah it was a good one because i spoiled maybe 17 movies yeah for people 
I, I told I told Joram, I was like, hey, we talked about Avatar for a long time. He goes, oh, nice. I really want to watch it. Yeah, we can talk about Avatar again. Yeah, I'm, I'm down, further, I'm I'm down further to, on the show. I'm down to keep on talking about Avatar. But I was like, yeah, you probably don't want to watch it, though, because if you haven't seen every single Leonardo DiCaprio film. Yeah, pretty uh, much. I'm spoiled every, Le- <laughs> I said every that, single Christopher Nolan any film. Any movie that Leonardo DiCaprio dies in, I'd said. I yeah. said a lot of Christopher Nolan spoilers. Christopher Nolan spoilers, yeah. Um, Hereditary was thrown in there that we spoiled. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of little things. Yeah, it was it was a good one. Uh, kind we, of unfortunate that we, we have... talked about um, the best forms of bending. What? How far are you into the show now? I haven't watched many other episodes. I haven't had time. on season three. I just saw Sokka um, become a sword master. He went to the master swordsman, who is a Fire Nation uh, guy, mm-hmm. and he knew he was Water Nation right away, but still trained him. That's dope. Uh, cause he's in the, he's in like that, the world or like the white Lotus. I don't know what you call it. It's like the secret un- organization with people from all across the nations. You know, the KGB. I, I don't know if that's what it is. Yeah. 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 KGB. Well, um, what is your favorite bending? Favorite bending? Yeah. Fire bending. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah. It's coolest. I, but we, we we talked about this the other day. Um, I just don't. I don't like rehashing it. Yeah, I don't. It, it feels <laughs> fucking weird. Yeah, it's very odd. Uh, but firebending, and I tried running I, because we had that episode. Though I did run it past other people, like uh, oh. Jorm and them, and they immediately. I was like, "Hey, if you could take any bending in your everyday life," mm-hmm. I was like, "What would you guys take?" And they were like, "Firebending." I was like. That's just wrong. You need to know that's wrong. Oh, are wrong. they saying in the? Are they? Are you saying within our world? Yeah, or, our world, or in the Avatar world? Our world, not the Avatar world. Well, that is wrong. Yeah, you don't ever need a fire bend. Y- here's the thing: when I walk, I have lighters. <laughs> yes, for for one, yeah. my stove works. Yeah, <laughs> like there's microwaves now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't need it. <laughs> uh, it's not needed at all. The only reason that it would be needed is if every time that I left my house, I got attacked by a gang of thieves. Yeah, and you wanted to take over the world or <laughs> something. I, or if I wanted to take over the world. Yeah. If I if I was Adolf Hitler, mm-hmm. my go-to bending would probably be fire bending. But yeah. not Adolf Hitler. Mm-mm. Don't want to take over the world. Yeah. Uh, everyday life, I mean, earth. they kept on saying that earth bending isn't like you would never use that in everyday life. I was like, imagine if you're just like a bit, like you could be rich because you just build things. Yeah. Very yeah, you quickly. You can't build like houses, but you can build like, what do you mean you can't build houses? Why wouldn't you be able to build houses? Cause houses are like, you know, made out of like wood and stuff like that. No brick houses. You'd make a brick house. Clay houses. What is brick? What is that material? Brick. Yeah. What is brick? Stone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Dude, that's above my pay grade. <laughs> above my pay grade. I know that if you stack them up nicely, it looks good on a house and uh, very well insulated. Um, but yeah, earth bending, very useful. What? But they were like, you need earth. And it's like, huh? <laughs> huh? You always have earth. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, you'd always or metal. Be, you're always in a situation. Well, that's a suit. So you think you could be a metal bender? I know that I could. Yeah. No. Oh, a hundred percent. No. If I was, if I was an earth bender, I could be a metal bender. If no. I was, if I was a water bender, I could be a blood bender. If I was an air bender, I'd be able to suck. Can, I'd be able to suck the have, air out of your the, fucking uh, lungs. That's the legend of Korra thing. Yes. Um. Can is water bending just like I thought? Do you have to be like a really powerful water bender to be able to do it? No. I just, thought it was just like they just didn't even realize you could do it. I think that it's just like, um. Because there's no guy waterbenders, right? <laughs> at all. Yeah, there is. At all? <laughs> That's actually just a big part of the, the first season. Yeah, it's crazy that there's no dude waterbenders. Yeah, there's not a single guy waterbender, including Aang and the guy who trains Aang and Katara. Yeah. And also the whole arc where um they're like, hey, there's never going to be a go- girl waterbender. And Katara's like pissed off and she waterbends. It's like a whole huge episode. Yeah, it's so she, it's so crazy that only like it depends on only men water bend. That only girls water bend. Only girls water bend. Sorry. Yeah. What did see, I say? but I'd be the only. I'd probably be the only guy um, blood bender. You think so? Yeah. No, I know so. I think at Cora, there's a guy who blood bends. No. <laughs> Not that. Sorry, dude. Hey, I don't know what I'm talking about. You're lying about the documents. You're yeah. lying about fucking everything. 
what next? We're going to find out that like you are also friends with Jeffrey Epstein. You friends are you friends with Jeffrey Epstein? We um. Do you have history with Jeffrey Epstein? I think we had the greatest episode of all time before. When <laughs> <laughs> this on this episode that nobody will ever be able to see. It's lost yeah. of time. Yeah. That one. That would have been it. That would have would, hit. Yeah, we would have struck back. Yeah, we, we would have been big. <laughs> well, that was one that I was ready to post on Reddit. Yeah, and I was going to say that was the this one. Is the one. That's the one. And everybody would watch that one and be like. These oh, guys, these are the talents. These guys create masterpieces, <laughs> and then they watch all the other episodes, and they'd be like, "Oh, this was just a diamond in a rough." And unfortunately, they're going to see this episode and realize that this <laughs> yeah. is shit. Now they're going to realize, "Hey, they can't recreate it. Mm-mm. They can't do it again." There's no magic. There's no magic. That's crazy, though. Um, I know. hope one day that they're um. We get popular enough where people have to watch through this dog shit to find uh, horrible things that you have said about. Different races. <laughs> I haven't said anything terrible about different. You try to pull things from my mouth and make it seem like I said. Yeah, probably. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> you know, it's really kind of weird, and it's kind of cringe. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty cringe about you. Yeah, is you've been on how long have you had Twitter? Um, since twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. Seventeen years. Seven years. <laughs> seven years. Which, which you know, seven years isn't a long time. But to you go right the first time. 17 but, years <laughs> to go se- on Twitter. To go 17 years on Twitter. Not a single like from a celebrity once. Why do you want to bring this up? That's weird. And cringe. You tweet really pandering things to celebrities. That get them no, to like- no, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. I tweet straight fire. I don't know why you have this weird obsession with it. No, I don't have an obsession with it because I don't ever bring it up. But I just yeah, want you do. No. You bring up a lot. No, it gets naturally brought up. <laughs> Nobody covered. cares. No. It, Name the celebrities that have liked your tweets. Seth Rogen, David Blaine. Is that it? Neil Brennan. Neil Brennan. Um, yeah, because you tw- said you said something like this is the greatest podcast I've ever seen. No, no, like, no. It was. Uh, it was. I was like. I really want to get a t-shirt made of Theo Vaughn just carrying a bunch of things and stuff falling out of his hands because Neil Brennan made like a comment on his podcast. Yeah, why don't you just suck his dick already? Well, I was trying to, but he never hit me that up. That being said, if any of these people liked one of my tweets, I would be just yes. beaming. These are three very like, these are three people that specifically if they liked your tweets, you'd be very ecstatic about. Yeah, they're not my, they're not my. Um, Who would be your number one person that you'd want Kanye to Kanye West. Kanye West. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Kanye. But I guarantee that if you go to Kanye's like liked tweets, there is probably like four. I guarantee that guy hasn't liked Yeah, tweets. and I'd like to be the fifth one. I'd <laughs> yeah. like to be number five. Yeah, I guess that's a good tease out of the question. Give me a, Why is that out of the give question? Me like, give me like a reasonable one. Okay, President Obama. <laughs> <laughs> you think that President Obama would enjoy anything that you have and to if say? I him, George W. Bush. <laughs> That's a leap. That's a leap and a half. Uh, they have very similar views. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like... You know what? I kind of miss the days of George Bush just dodging shoes. Yeah. And that was the uh, that was the craziness of the presidency. I just miss, um, like, having a president that wasn't just, like, constantly doing weird-ass shit. <laughs> like, I... Because... Even though Obama, like, going, like, being our first black president and stuff, fucking amazing and dope. Be careful. But, like, I'd go day by day and not hear things about Obama. Yeah. I can't go, I can't open up Twitter tomorrow without having Trump go on some, like, random anti-Semitic rant. Or I haven't actually seen him do anything during this time. It seems like he's what, been... dude? He just—he literally just said at a press conference, George Floyd would look down on us with yeah. happiness <laughs> about the unemployment rates. What? Yeah, because unemployment um, unemployment rates are fixing because the coronavirus uh, stay at home oh, orders are say. like stopping. So you know during so, all the. In turn, during all these George Floyd things, I didn't even realize what he got arrested for. He was like uh, a fake check or a fake potential. Yeah, just maybe a fake twenty dollar bill. <laughs> and it wasn't even like one. It's not that bad. And then I didn't even know it. Two. It's like alleged. 
And he also, I think partway, like through like the terrible fucking video, he, he at some point even says, I didn't really do anything, man. Yeah. He's like, it's not that big of a deal. So like, even at one point he just like admits to it, like, okay, then just cuff him. Like. Yeah, it's pretty a, crazy. <laughs> it's nutty. It's fucking insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it. Imagine if yeah. we didn't have cell phones. Yeah. What, imagine yeah, what would have been. Florida said. is pretty interesting. Like, uh, people. There's like. There's that not more. Part. There's not more racism. It's just being filmed now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just it's being the light is being shed on it. That oh hey, yeah. In the police report, it might say this and that, but really, it's this. And it way, is this. You, there's no forging a video like this. There's nothing like that. But you're able to forge a police report, and they've been doing it for years. On the drive here, um, there was cop cars blocking the exits to downtown. I think it's because of the yeah. curfew. They're yeah. just not allowed to go downtown. No? no, it's just that they're trying to limit the. They're trying to get people to just like not go down there because the curfew. Yeah, I mean it's the same way in Chicago all weekend. Uh, our friend. Uh, Galley, he was trying to buy alcohol yesterday. Yeah, during the day, but everything was shut down all day, and they like lifted all the bridges. Like all the bridges were like up, so that way you couldn't get from like point A to point B. Like, so easily. what do you do? Yeah, you learn how to swim. Is that really it? <laughs> or jump really far? Yeah. How do you get across? I don't know how the city set up. Floor it. So are there places that like. You it, can do you live in like an area where you can't get to them? I don't know. Have you ever seen Batman? When yes. they lift all the bridges, I think so. And then they start like throwing the fucking crazy gas. Oh, and Batman Begins. Yeah, I don't remember that movie that well. I've, I haven't seen it nearly as many times as Batman uh, or The Dark Knight. Really? Uh, yeah, or even The Dark Knight Rises. I don't think The Dark Knight Rises fucking sucks. You think it's bad? I think it's very a lot worse than the other ones. The other two. It, yeah, it's, mainly because, and I don't think that this is even a hot take. It's uh, just okay. Tom Hardy's a dog shit actor. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. That guy fucking sucks. Yeah. Dude, he went through all of Mad Max, what do you say, three words? People actually hate his performance in Mad Max. Because he doesn't do anything. Yeah. And then Venom is dog shit. To- fucking Topher, Gra- Topher Grace was <laughs> so way, way better. better Venom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he always has been. Yeah, I've never seen Venom, but I can I. assume because of that guy's dog shit performances. Honestly, what else is that guy in? Tom Hardy, I think, is overrated. Also, like, give me one of the other Hardys. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, Jeff Hardy, Matt oh. Hardy, <laughs> these wrestlers. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. There was also, I think, at one point, there was um, Steve Spike. Harvey. Del- oh, oh, no, Steve no, no. Harvey. Steve Harvey. Look at, that. Look at that. <laughs> These are three Harveys that I like more. Right. Steve Hardy, Harvey hates... Uh, that's not That's not Hardy. Harvey. What about... There, there's also the... Isn't there, Steve Harvey. Isn't there the Hardy... Like the Hardly Boys or whatever? I don't know. They're that's like, just a South Park joke, isn't it? No, it's like the fuck... There's actually books about these like guys. And, like they're like teenagers that solve crimes. Yeah, that's I'll not, take those that's two. That's not true. You made that up. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I'd wanted to seem cooler, yeah, in front of the camera, um, but no, it's it. He's the worst Hardy. Oh, no. Yeah, Tom Hardy fucking sucks. I don't know Steve Harvey's kind of a bad Harvey, <laughs> but he's Harvey. Harvey Dent sucks too. <laughs> uh, I don't know any Tom yeah. Hardy movies besides Inception. Dark oh, Night is he Rises. in Inception? Yeah, and he does nothing. Do you remember what he does? Kick him, he won't wake. He can't wake. Maybe. <laughs> Is that his part? I don't know. I've never seen Inception. I've only <laughs> seen the Little Wayne video. <laughs> Have you not seen Inception? I've never seen Inception. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Are you stupid? I fucking hate it, though. Because I... Well, here's the thing. I saw that Little Wayne video. Um, what Little Wayne video? God, I, talking to you is fucking the worst. <laughs> because you well, have no you've never or you've never watched the Lil Wayne video of where, what? where they recreate fucking. I know the scene you're talking about. I just like what's the video? Lil Wayne has a music video. I yeah, I got that. I got that much. Wayne Inception. It's a really what no. you, six foot seven foot. It starts off with. All right, I got it. <laughs> yeah. It starts with. You won't work. 
you can't wait. And then they and then they dunk them. Do they do that in Inception? You really haven't seen that? No. Wow. At the end of the movie, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm setting you up for some spoilers. You ready to nail it? Um. So the whole movie it plays with dreams. Yes. And what's and going a dream deeper and what's not dreams. a dream? Yes. And and he has this thing. What do, what are you doing with your fingers? He's got. The... Yeah, top he spins a top. Yeah. Do you know what that is? It's called a totem. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. different people have different totems, and you are the only person who's allowed to hold on to their totem. And it's so you know like the weight and the balance and how it should react in the normal world, mm-hmm. so that if it reacts differently in the dream world, then you know you're in a dream. Okay. So you can have like a six sided die or a weighted die, right? And if the die lands on your number, then you're like, oh shit, okay, I'm in the real world. But in the dream, it would land. It doesn't matter. The, it would, the properties would be different. The okay. top spins forever and never stops spinning. Mm-hmm. So that's the purpose of the total. So in the end, when Leonardo DiCaprio's character, mm-hmm. uh, he, he goes too deep. He's not allowed to see his children because he was framed for his wife's murder. Oh, fuck his face to me. Yeah, that's really important. I know. I, I'm getting FaceTimed. I mean, my phone is like. Yeah, I don't look at my phone. I just toss it. <laughs> yeah, no, but not, yeah, you're addicted. No, I am just more important. No, you're not. Then you, yeah, yeah, you don't even know what number that is. Yeah, I know. That's We're, that's how popular I am. Yeah, I get people saying I have a sex tape of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that too. But there's actually a anywho. Sex tape. So he finally gets he gets to see his kids, right? He finally gets to go back to America and see his kids, which he hasn't seen for a while. And then he spins the top, right? And then he realizes he doesn't really care uh, what the top means at all. And he looks at it because he just wants to see his kids. He hasn't seen his kids the whole time. And then the final shot is the spinning top, and it just keeps spinning. And then it starts to wobble, and then it cuts to black. So you don't see if it stops or not. So you don't know if he's in a dream or not. That's the end of Inception. <laughs> but it doesn't matter to him. No, he doesn't care at that point. Because he found his happiness. Yeah. Whether it's in a dream or not. Yeah. And they just go deeper into dreams, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what Inception is. Who else is in it? Topher Grace? Topher Grace is in it. <laughs> Tom Hardy? Yes, Tom Hardy's in it. Who else is in it? Uh, give me another actor. Um, Bruce Willis? Yes, Bruce Willis is in the movie. <laughs> and his wife is Pamela Anderson. You have nailed it. You have nailed every <laughs> actor and actress in the movie. His kid is uh, Macaulay McCulkin? He's a little old for the role, but yes, that is. <laughs> <laughs> that is Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> um, that guy for a little bit mm-hmm. was the most famous kid in the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why was that? Home Alone. <laughs> but like, it wasn't like he was a great actor. Yeah, but he's an adorable child. Um, and then turned into like a crackhead. I that was that's that's not substantiated. That's just people thought because. But he, he just looks so he just much look, worse. He looked like it. <laughs> yeah. He looks good now. Does he? Yeah. I mean, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. I mean, no, you haven't actually seen. I've seen him, but the thing is, no, the like pictures that, of that him, adorable kid. No, the pictures of um him when he was really skinny and like looking cracked out. No, because I've seen him on like podcasts. Right, but that that's him looking good. Yeah, he still will look worse. I know that, right? Apparently, you don't. I I do. I've Finish seen the photo. Fo- I've seen the photos. I've seen the pod. But even him looking at his best. This adorable kid just grew up to be like some like it's normally like an average looking dude, below yeah, average. Normally these like like child actors, yeah. like dude, Dylan Sprouse fucks. Yeah. Cole Sprouse fucks. Yeah, not Dylan. Dylan a little bit. Not more. quite as much. But yeah, these those two kids fuck. Yeah. Colin McCulkin. Yes, that's a, that's you know what? I can give you a little uh connection between the Sprouse twins and Macaulay Culkin. Okay. Do you know what the connection is? Macaulay McCulkin, his parents weren't like actors. No, 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 no. Uh, better connection. Okay, what? So, on Sweet Life is Act Dude, Cody. stop stepping on my fucking cord. Stop grabbing it. <laughs> stop, stop fucking moving it up and down. Is it bothering you? Yes. Sweet Life is Act and Cody. Yes. Do you remember London Tipton? Brenda, Ashley Tills. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda Sog. Brenda Stark. Brenda Song. Yeah. The Asian girl? Yes. Macaulay Culkin's girlfriend. Really? Currently. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So you're saying he, he's good not for fuck, him. You're saying he's not fucking good for him. He is good for him. He makes a little Asian joke on, on uh, Joe Rogan, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, my girlfriend's Asian, so I make Asian jokes all the time." That's <laughs> it. That's her. <laughs> She's the Asian girl. Is she She's Asian as ever? Really? Uh huh. 
That's dope. And she's in a social network. Is she? Andrew Garfield's girlfriend. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Have you not seen that movie? I, no, I've seen that movie a lot. Apparently not. No, I've seen it a good amount. But here's the thing. She's like a main I, character. I don't like that you can remember everything in a film. Like, you'll watch a film and you remember all of it. And because I don't remember every single fucking scene. You don't remember movies, anything. I, I watched Uncut Gems last week. If you, you don't had, remember any of it? <laughs> literally, most of it I don't, I don't remember. We talked about Uncut Gems for a long time. I was I was thinking of possibly rewatching it before this podcast Just because say. I wanted to talk about Uncut Gems because I love the Safdie brothers. Yeah. And, <laughs> but you can't remember why. Can't, Just can't pinpoint can't why. can't remember a single thing about that movie. Do you remember the other movie you watched? Not a clue. <laughs> With Robert Pattinson? Good time. Good time. I forgot the name of it. It's a good movie. Yeah. Um, what happened in it? Don't Not know. <laughs> I have no idea. Like, there's this quote that you always say from Uncut Gems. Oh, you don't remember the quote? <laughs> That's my game or something. <laughs> That's my game? I don't fucking know. That's my game. <laughs> is that what he says? No, are you fucking stupid? I say the quote all the time. Yeah. This is how I win. <laughs> this is how I win. Yeah, that one. This is how we win. <laughs> and that's fucking him talking to Kevin Garnett at yeah. the end. Yeah. When he wins. When he gets, ba- he, when he gets the, the, the gem back. He wins by selling this gem and is finally having the money to pay back yeah. his debts. And yeah, KG is like, what the, what the fuck are you doing? Like, why are you doing this shit? Yeah, and he's like, "This is how I win." <laughs> yeah, and then he—it's a good quote. And then he throws his fucking money to his girlfriend. Yeah, she goes and spends it. Dude, that movie's so fucking good. The way that yeah, it's she's filmed, so hot. she's so fucking sexy. Yeah, she's yeah. Dude, like, that's a girl. I'd fucking oh. Is her butt fake? I don't know. If he, if it is, who cares, dude? I'm pretty sure it is. Dude, I'll fucking eat it. Um. You know what's fun about that I movie? I full on make my tongue like a fucking taco and just shove it in her fucking ass. When <laughs> <laughs> that's on God. <laughs> when you're watching that movie, you think, <laughs> that's all you think. Yeah, you think uh, you're thinking I that this fucking girl's ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking that that girl's just playing Adam Sandler because yeah. she's just super hot. Yes, but she actually likes him. Yeah, and she kind of doesn't loves him. Double, she doesn't really double cross him at all. She's just a shitty worker. I mean, no. And I she mean, does she ca- almost fucked the weekend. <clears throat> but I mean, who's not gonna? Fuck oh my the god, weekend? it's so hard, dude. Yeah. She's fo- feeling this fucking cock, and it's rock hard. Yeah, dude, I, that's cheating to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. She kind of does cheat a little bit. Yeah, but it's okay. I, that's one of my actually. Actually, that scene right there is one of my favorite scenes. Why? Because um, you get to see the weekend. No, afterwards. Oh, when they fight. Yes, that yeah. fighting scene feels so real. Who? Because it doesn't feel like there's a script to it, and I love it for that. It just seems like they're following like this couple fighting outside like a New York club, and they're just like the way that Adam Sandler is like yelling at her. It it feels so unscripted because he's like repeating himself. Well, the whole like he's like fuck you, you fucking skank, and then he says that like three more times, and I feel like whenever somebody's angry the whole or movie something, kind of feels like it's unscripted. Yes, for sure, and it, I love that. It, yeah. it makes it feel more raw and like it's you know that I I literally just saw a tweet by XQC. He's a big fucking Twitch streamer or whatever. He's no, he isn't. Overwatch pro. No, nah. one of the biggest streamers. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> he said. Uh, he always types in caps, too, on Twitter, which I fucking hate because yeah. it always seems like he's yelling at me. Sure. But he goes, I got told to watch Uncut Gems by so many people and how good it was. This movie was fucking shit. And, like, he shits on it. And every person that replies, like, oh, it was good. There was an overwhelming, like, there was a good amount of people that also said that it was bad, too. Yeah. Our friend Tyler Rogney. He was like, what, you just like somebody screaming for two hours? I was like, no, nah, man. I, I was like, this movie is just like an adrenaline rush. You just never, yes. you just never stop. You keep going. Dude. You never get a second to breathe. And every time you're like, is he good? He just keeps going. Wor- like he just yeah. keeps making like worse decisions. So and you're like, can you just like chill? Yeah, yeah, it's great. But uh, I don't know. He didn't like it. Good times, really good too. Good time. I feel like does it a little bit better personally. But uh, um, the issue is, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, that's what I said last week. Robert Pattinson. Does well, this qu- week technically. <laughs> yeah. Robert, yeah, this the last episode. Uh, Robert Pattinson, the unaired episode. Fucking, he does he does some shit in the movie that I'm like, oh man, that's fucking disgusting and gross. But I'm rocking with you. <laughs> really? Yeah, I like it. That's what I fucking told you. 
I but I don't I don't feel that way. Yeah, so I'm gonna spoil I, what he does. He makes I, out with like a twelve year old, yes. and I'm like, yeah, that's what's up. Yes, which is like 13, 14. Yes, it's yeah, and just he's like fucking twenty seven. It's yeah, yeah. This, he the reason he why it. I like the he, reason why I like that film is because it's a very uh, unique film that makes where, it look like I'm just a pedophile. <laughs> he does it to save his brother because he has to like <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, just cut it. Right yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Um, Whatever. So. Robert Benson, I really like that good time for a different reason. Uh, he just, in the entire movie, he has no redeeming factors. No. This this is your main character. But Adam Sandler is more likable. Yes. Yeah. Um, And he, like, he does nothing good. No. Like, you don't see him, even for his brother that he loves, he consistently puts him in, like, a bad situation the whole starting scene is him like taking him out of therapy, like a therapy yeah. session, which is good for people. Yeah, he like the therapy session is going very well. Yeah, and Robert Pattinson just fucks it all up. Yeah, he comes in. You, what if I made you cry? Why are you making him cry? Yeah, <laughs> I like that scene. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, and his brother's like, yeah, why are you making me cry? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Benny Safdie fucking amazing in that film yeah so good yeah i didn't realize he was wearing fat face until you told me or potentially yeah. yeah um that or just gained a lot of weight for the role i don't know i don't Maybe. think so though because the, the fucking skin didn't look like it, real yeah it, I, it even look making it look a little weird makes me go like oh he there's something wrong with him you yeah know what i mean so yeah it kind of helps yeah it was definitely good uh it it helped sell it a little bit more because there is a series. He plays on, a mentally there's handicapped. There's a series on YouTube character where I don't know what it's called. I've seen it with the Safety Brothers, and I've seen it with like other people. And it's like a it's like a closet or a couple closets of just like Blu-rays, like blue like new Blu-ray collections. Mm-hmm. And the purse, like the guests get to come onto the show and pick out their some of their favorite movies that like must have Blu-rays, and it's kind of like a grab whatever, talk about the movie a little bit and like get it out Mm -hmm. and it's like the people that come on the show talk about like relatively like pretty good movies or whatever when the safety brothers came on they grabbed they they grabbed so many movies there was not one i could name really it was crazy these guys just like love and they're young they like love these really weird like interesting indie movies that I've never heard of. I don't know anything about. Do you enjoy indie movies? Some. For sure. What's technically an indie movie? Have I seen an indie movie ever? Um, Yeah, probably. I mean, it's just a movie. Just uh, It's like an independent film. I've seen a movie that's good that you've never seen. I bet you you can't do the same, name the same. For you? No. Well, like, you just... I don't think that you can name a really good film that I haven't seen. Yeah. But... I definitely can't. And you've seen, no. But I can name a film that I've seen that I know for sure All right. that you probably haven't seen, and it's really good. What is it? Spirited Away. Oh, I haven't seen Spirited Away. It's really good. Yeah, I keep being told to see Spirited Away. Really? Yeah. I never suggest that movie to anybody, but I enjoyed it a lot as a yeah, child. Yeah, my roommate used to tell me that to watch it all oh, the time. Oh, yeah, because he loved Japan and stuff right there. Yeah. Like, all of Asian culture, too. Yeah, it's the best one of, uh, what was it, Miyaki? Miyaki? I don't, know I, say, know. I don't know how to say. I don't know how to. It's like a Studio Ghibli film. That's what know. they are. I just fucking love the like, show a lot. Yeah, that movie. It was really good. Uh, now your turn. To say a movie, uh, Avengers Endgame. <laughs> Have you seen that one? No. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, I just saw somebody put. Po- was it a uh, donkey posted a video that Avengers Endgame sucks? I think in this. <laughs> yeah, he just was. And you were talking about how Donkey's trash now. I haven't watched that video yet. No, I didn't say. I just said that his most recent videos, there was Maneater, um, which is one that I just watched, where he doesn't talk at all. He just, like, plays, like, mm-hmm. an IGN uh, review of it and also, like, the selling, the pitching, I'm guessing, at, like, E3 or something yeah. of the game. And that's, like, the entire video, which, like, it's, like, whatever. Um, but, like, it wasn't, like, He's where great. I got the... Um the idea to play uh, what Tupac was song was I playing on Discord the other day? I forgot. It was a song that I had life goes heard. on. Life goes on. Yeah, life goes on. I was playing it in Discord because yeah. you you weren't in Dude, Discord. Stop fucking stepping on my shit, bro. You weren't in Discord for like twenty minutes or something. Dude, I was in there all day and didn't realize it. 
Yes. Which is crazy because I was blaring porno right over there. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I, I played um, Life Goes On and I just queued up a hundred times. You really? Yeah, and I just kept letting you play because I knew I was like, eventually he's gonna pop on and figure out that he's been in Discord the whole time and wonder <laughs> what's going on and why. And not only me, other yeah. people popped into the Discord. Yeah, what did like, they say? They're like, "Why is David just listening to Tupac <laughs> in, in your Discord?" And also, why was it just playing? Like, were you playing it on your phone through your microphone? No, did it came through clearly? Yeah, yeah, very clearly. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it was very weird of you. No, I don't think it's that weird. <laughs> it's pretty odd. Uh, you and I, for my birthday, played video games all last night. Yeah. Played a lot of Warzone. Sure. And God damn, am I good, huh? No. Um, <laughs> one thing I do like about playing with you yeah. is because your um, KD is low, low and also your like just general level is low, <laughs> I get ranked up with lower people that's weird and i can i can feel like i'm good at the game because as soon as i play with dominic and i who were both 155 mm -hmm. we just we haven't got we haven't even got to the mid game anymore we really? just always lose garbage it's so fucking frustrating so garbage. i i took a third place with Trash. you and neil um, yeah that was like the the fucking best i've done in like days yeah, fucking, it was like a twenty plus kill game too. Oh my god! I, I, I think that I think that you had like twelve kills. I I'm had not even fucking having 11. fun playing lately. It's just like getting me frustrated. Really? Yeah. I hate that shit. That's why I like Plunder. We played Plunder or whatever, and we won right away. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Why? Because we just jumped in it and we fucking we didn't even know how to you at the end we were in overtime so this game mode yeah I didn't is, is a very why. Yeah, it's a very weird game mode where in the other game mode it's a battle royale yeah, you just try to Phil guy. yeah yeah who actually was pretty solid yeah uh you, you gotta kill people normally it's a battle royale which is just a like 150 people land on a fucking island or whatever and you gotta survive the entire time based off of like the hunger games and the book Battle Royale. Um, and movie Battle Royale. And movie Battle Royale, whatever. Stupid ass. And. Uh, <laughs> Dumb fuck. And you just try to survive. That's it. Try to be the last person standing. This game mode, however, there's a currency system by killing people, um, doing objectives, stuff like that. It makes the like best that. Battle Royale game ever made. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Yes, thank and, you. And you keep, on, you keep on respawning in this game mode. And you had no idea how it was working. You had no idea how to deposit the money that we had or anything like no, that. No, I just didn't understand the concept of what the game is. You just have to collect the most money, and whoever yes. has the most money in the end wins. Yes. Or gets to a million dollars first wins. Yes. Yeah, I didn't understand but that. You got to deposit the million dollars. I didn't understand how to play, deposit, what winning, killing people. Also, here's the thing is that I, whenever it seemed like nobody we were playing against gave a fuck because I just kept <laughs> killing people. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like, I ended up getting the most kills, right? Yeah. And it's because, like, literally when I would kill people, mm -hmm. because they have the death cam, or, like, the, you get to hear five seconds after somebody dies. Yes. I kept literally hearing children, like, screaming. <laughs> I just kept killing children. Like, in a high-pitched voice. No! Like, there he is! So, we were playing against literal children in this game. Are you Anakin? No, not yet. I kept killing were them. these Tusken Raiders? They were younglings. Um, I killed them all. There was just like we, the children. We were in playing against anybody. The women. <laughs> I slaughtered them. You slaughtered them, like pigs. It's <laughs> a good movie. So good. Oh, it sets, up, best it sets up everything. Best dialogue. You really, you wholeheartedly believe that was like the solid movie until we. I genuinely liked episode two. Like I episode liked episode two significantly more. Than, than every person in planet Earth. Yes. Yeah. Even the actors who acted in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best movie. No, it's really bad. <laughs> Dude. That fucking... one isn't even like enjoyably bad. It's just fucking boring. But the it only does thing, the only something thing... for No, it doesn't. It doesn't do shit. Dude, Count Dooku fucking fights with fucking Anakin and Obi-Wan in it. That's yeah, the sick. You know the best part about that? Is hmm. when they talk about sand, so we can get all those memes. That is such a good yeah, line. It's coarse and rough, and it gets everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Yeah. I hate sand. Yeah. That's such a good line. <laughs> You're telling me that's not good? You know what's... Name a single quote from episode, what is it, eight? 
Episode eight? Name a single quote from it. Um, give me a second. <laughs> you can't. Uh, not pan- uh, page turners. They weren't. You know, Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> page turners. They were not. Episode eight. Yeah. Yoda's fucking dead in that movie. Are you stupid? He fucking shoots the lightning bolt down on the Jedi Temple in the writing. Episode 8, The Last Jedi? I don't, is this a completely fucking different film than I've seen? Are you talking about The Last Jedi, Episode 8? Is that episode the middle eight. one? The middle one of episode the new eight, trilogy. The Last Jedi with fucking Yoda talking to Luke on his fucking island. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I I dozed he, off for that. Fucking I just named a quote, and he shoots the lightning bolt down on the Jedi scrolls. Yeah, and fucking, then look at the scrolls, and Yoda goes, "Page turners, they were not, or whatever." Yeah, garbage. I just named a quote. Yeah, but you can name like six from Episode Two. No, I can only name the, the the slaughtering. Yeah. Yes. The sand. The sand. It's cool, isn't the cause rough, and it gets. Everywhere. But I love you. <laughs> Or, no, but, no, but no, no, no. That's episode three. Is it? Yeah. Uh, so love has blinded you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's only because I'm so in love with you. So yeah. love has blinded you? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. That shit's so fire. And <laughs> so fire. In episode... Dude, uh, even you saying it, and you're a bad actor. Me, I'm a good actor. No, I said it good. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> episode four, five, and... Uh, so love has blinded you? The original trilogy. That is good. That can uh, move you to tears. So, uh, Harrison Ford... Mm-hmm. Um, what the fuck are the other actors' names? <laughs> Mark Hamill. Thank you. And the last one. Uh, Pamela Anderson. Close. Why God, I'm so fucking stupid. She died. Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher. Yeah. So I would have George got, Lucas. That actually that would have been That would have been the hard one? Yeah. It would have taken me like years to get that one. Yeah, God. I don't know why I couldn't think of the I forgot her name like Carrie soon. Fisher. Um so when they were re- when they were recording lines, um jo- fucking George Lucas, he yes. he wrote the scripts. He was notoriously bad for writing dialogue. He didn't know how to write dialogue. <laughs> so like the actors would actually take his lines and make them more like humans. Yeah. And that's why they talk the way they talk, like people. Because <laughs> yeah. George would write terrible lines. Like, the greatest lines are just improv. Like, um, I love you. And Harrison Ford, like, I know he improv that. Yeah. It's just like, they constantly make fun of George Lucas for his terrible dialogue. And they would just make it for people. So then you go to the original, or the, the prequels, and nobody questions George anymore. Which is weird because the Luke, I am your father line actually was, Luke, I made love to your mom. Yeah. And we conceived you. That. <laughs> what is that from? I don't know. Is I, that, just, I just made that you up. You just made that up? Yeah. I swear that was from something. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I don't um, know. I, it, I just, because I was trying to think of a sentence as you were talking, <laughs> just to cut you off to say that. <laughs> yeah, it just. Um, but in the prequel trilogies, when the actors took it, they just never challenged them. So when, like, the lines are like, uh, I slaughtered them. <laughs> That's so good, though. Yeah. That, every time that I watch that scene, tear. <laughs> yeah? Tears. Fucking. You know that one song where it goes, Yo, he, stream down your face, or whatever. I don't fucking know. <laughs> no, that was good. Keep going. <laughs> I don't know what song that was. Um, God, yeah, the prequels are so good. Can't remember any of them. <laughs> Can't remember a single one. No, no, no. Also, I mean, episode three, you can name a lot of lines from. Uh, yeah, that episode one. Episode one, I you think can I name can, a lot I can, of I think lines I genuinely from. can remember more lines from episode three than any, than any, other, yeah. any other movie, I think. Really? Prob- I've seen that movie more times than... That and Social Network, I've seen more than any of those of the Before two. Before I got brain damaged, like from playing football and yeah. stuff, uh, I could like memorize and all of Step Brothers. Getting your broken by that babysitter. <laughs> arms, arms, yeah, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Who, who cares? Both arms, dude. Come on. Um, yeah, I I used to be able to like memorize like every single word in Step Brothers. Just looking back on it, it's like, dude, couldn't I have like remembered something cooler, like super bad? Step Brothers isn't people. I think people shit in that movie. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's good. I like it. I mean, Will Ferrell's just like I don't know. I, there, you know what? There's a there's a population out there that dislikes Will Ferrell. There's just a population of who hate generally like like my mom doesn't like very Will popular people. My mom doesn't like Will Ferrell. Thinks that he's Ever? not funny. She's never liked him. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, your mother 
<laughs> incorrect. Yeah, I know. And a fucking stupid idiot. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. Don't talk about my mother that way. Uh, you guys disrespected your father today. You and your brother both called me daddy. <laughs> <laughs> when do you guys have a father? His name's Steve. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was either disrespect my father or not get revived and call him. <laughs> yeah. Disrespect my father every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your daddy? You are. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> father. Um, yeah, people don't like Kevin Hart as well. Yeah, I mean, but like they're like I don't know. People just don't like Will Ferrell movies. Like there's like a pe- there's people out there that just like Will Ferrell movies. Yeah, when which Elf, will, Elf which, is probably the best Christmas movie. Yes. Yeah, I just think it. I think it is. I don't really care. Talladega Nights is like really good. It's the best NASCAR movie of all time. <laughs> yes, by far. Um, it's one of the best sports movies of all time. Uh, Anchorman, very yeah. quotable. What's the best Will Ferrell movie? Anchorman or Zoolander? Or Step Brothers? Anchorman. I don't know, I, Zoolander's pretty fucking good. Zoolander's but really good, but I don't Anchorman's like I don't crap. like that movie because of Will Ferrell. Oh yeah, he isn't fucking Yeah, I guess he isn't the main guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So like that, that doesn't count then. Yeah. I like Zoolander a lot. Which you only saw because of me. Yeah, I never And you fought me tooth and nail to watch it. I thought it was terrible. I thought it was gonna be bad. You were like, I'm not gonna watch this. Yeah, Will Ferrell made me cry of laughter in that movie. <laughs> they, make the, they make this for ants. When when Will Ferrell So hot right he, now. He is um he's the uh he's like the designer, right? He's yes. like the very important designer major celebrity. And the Spoiler inter- alert! He's trying to. <laughs> the interviewer just wa- wants to get a, a, a word, a word, anything, anything. <laughs> the whole. T- <laughs> he's just ignoring the. Inter- <laughs> he's ignoring the interviewer. <laughs> but he's not only that, he's verbally <laughs> responding to it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was crying. That that movie. Or then when all the all what's the that guy's ma- name? Ben Affleck. Who's the fucking? Who's the Ben Stiller? Ben Stiller. Yeah. <laughs> Same person, dude. <laughs> God, and when all the male models die from the gasoline attack. <laughs> yeah, the gasoline and, burn. And then I realized it doesn't matter how super ridiculously good looking <laughs> you are. Yeah, I never <laughs> anybody, saw anybody. Anybody can die in a freak gasoline <laughs> <fight exit. laughs> After they have they have this gasoline fight where people don't talk about Zoolander enough. No, it's one of the best scenes of all time. The first time I saw it, I literally was like unbearably like, uh, you know, when you laugh so hard that you can't speak, you can't form sentences. When me and you were high that one time, yeah, and we were trying to communicate. Yeah. I was in that state and crying of laughter when <laughs> they're just one. It's crazy that they're having a gasoline fight, right? They're just. <laughs> throwing gasoline out of a fucking nozzle at each other. <laughs> and then he decides he's going to light up a cigarette after this crazy gasoline fight that they just had. And he's going to light up a cigarette and just throw it. Ben Stiller is, is one of the rare uh, occasions where his father, Jerry Stiller, was incredibly famous and a comedic actor. Yeah. And then Ben Stiller also did it. Yes. And nobody hated him. I mean, there was people that hated him for a while. Yeah, right? but not like. But people hated him for his success. I he think. wasn't. Yeah, did it. He wasn't like a garbage, fucking terrible person. Uh, have you ever seen? But you, you obviously ain't seen it. Uh, Between two ferns. Yeah. One of my favorite lines of all time is, uh, "Yeah, we should work together sometime." You should. He was like, "Yeah, yeah." Like, what's your email? I mean, he goes. Yeah, I'll write it down. He writes down Ben Stiller is gay at, at hotmail dot com. He goes, "I made this way before I met you." <laughs> <laughs> or you might have even said, I think that he said, uh, I made this way before I knew who you were. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Galifianakis is um, fucking one of the best of all time. I love him. Really? I love him. Yeah. I think, I think he's, that he's good. But I, no, I think he's fantastic. I wouldn't. I mean, between two ferns. Have you seen the movie? No, I never it's saw garbage. it. It's <laughs> garbage. I never saw it. Don't watch it because it would actually ruin it for you. He, I think he was just, he's the reason why Hangover is so funny. Yeah, for sure. And Hangover, I think... I mean, you can say that, but there's also, like... I mean, fucking... What, what's his name? Ben Affleck is in that? Yeah. What's his name? Other Ben? Shapiro? Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> and then Andy from The Office is in it. Yep. And then there's that one guy. No, fucking, he, who cares? He's... he's, he's doesn't matter. That guy important. actually hasn't done anything, right? 
He, what the fuck are you going to talk shit about National Treasures 1 and 2? <laughs> what was I thinking? He's the greatest actor of our generation <laughs> behind the guy that plays the reverse Flash in the Flash TV series. Are you stupid? National <laughs> yeah. Treasures 1 and 2 and the third one, which is coming <laughs> soon with the TV show? Huh? Uh, that I got a Google notification. Who knows if it's true? <laughs> yeah, I, um, I can't name a single thing that happened in National Treasure. <laughs> Really? Yeah. What about sealing the Declaration of Independence? You yeah. don't remember that? Yeah, they did that. Yeah. And they also go up to the bell or whatever, right? At yeah. one point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know that. And they get the Thomas Edison spectacles. Yeah. So they can see it. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking... I'm over that. <laughs> Next. Dude, stop stepping on my fucking cords, Nick man. Nick Cage is a... I, I wish... I hope he gets picked up by like a really great director... And he just has, like, a, a fucking... I mean, he did, didn't he? Like, do that one fucking film with the bees? Yeah, you can... Ah! Oh, I know what movie you're talking Wicker Man. About. Yeah, Wicker Man. But I want to see a movie where he's fantastic. He was bad on... That movie was Wicker Man bad, is, right? Yeah, people find Hated it, it one of the worst movies of all time. There's a... There's an, <laughs> he So, he dresses up in, like, a bear costume. And he's... The Wicker Man... Is, I mean, he is in a... He's in... Um, in that movie, he's dressed. Up, in that movie, he's dressed up as a bear, and he runs up to an old lady and just knocks her out, punches her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scene in the movie. It sounds like a phenomenal movie. It's pretty good. Um, he's in Spider Man. Who into the Spider Verse? Cage. Yeah. Oh yeah, he is in that. It's, yeah, he's the fucking. And he's good in it. He's like the the fifties Spider Man. Sometimes I burn a match. <laughs> just like, well, yeah, just so I can feel something. <laughs> that's such. A, yeah, that's a great line. Yeah. Also, he is in fucking um, National Treasure one and Kick two. Ass. Oh. Kick Ass is a good movie. Is he? He's the fucking Birdman guy. Uh, I can't remember anything from Kick Ass. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't even try. How long did we go before we cut it? Um, like two minutes and thirty seconds. Oh, so it wasn't even that much. No. Okay. Um. Oh, we could have restarted the whole thing. Yeah, probably. But whatever. It I'll just what, cut it in. It is what it does, Yugi. Yeah, it's not gonna take that long. Um. Yeah, I'm old as fuck now. 24. The 24 Dude, I'm getting at an age where I legitimately forget sometimes how old I am. That has always happened to me. Really? Every year I well, I just have to get used to the age. As soon as I turn the age, I just forget that I'm that old. Dude, there was one time where like somebody asked me how old I was and I almost like was like 21. 21? <laughs> yeah, like a year ago. Really? Yeah. How? I just dude I forget. I legit think that there's crazy brain damage up here. Do you really? From fucking football, yeah. How old do you think you're going to be when you stop caring about new music? Oh. I mean, I'll probably, I don't know. I don't think I'm making it past 30. I didn't ask when <laughs> we're going to die. Well, I'm going to care about music until I die. Which is 30? Which is like 30. Because I think at some point, not running, moving... Or generally doing anything. Yeah, like it's gonna catch up to you? Yeah. Well at some point I wanna live in a ranch house. Yeah. So that way there's no stairs. I I can just like not move. Do you, okay, question. Yes. Let's say I did think about buying over the penis catheters, so that way I didn't Let's have say to your pain. mind. Okay. Your like your yes. entire what you do. Yeah. And my mind. We switch bodies. Okay. You're in my body, I'm in your body. Okay. Do you think you immediately start making my body like fat and out of shape? No. Do you think you you can just live in my body and eat whatever? I your body has a very high metabolism. Yeah. I can't fuck that up. You don't like, think so? No. You've tried. There like literally the worst shape that you were in, you were at like what? Like like 205. 205. Yeah. And that like you weren't like fat you, yeah i was you had like a little bit of flubber on you but yeah. you never had like a fucking gut like me dude i've got a center of gravity that can fucking i can't be pushed over by anybody i think and that's a fact i think it's a i think you have a mental block you and think? i think and i think my mind would just make your body right back into shape <laughs> I, um i think that if you were in my body for a little bit yeah, you whip, pro- it, you, whip you'd, it into shape. Yeah, you'd get it into shape. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but also that'd be like, say, if I swapped into your body for a while, and then I came back to my body, I'd be able to do the same thing because I'd. It's just like 
I get complacent <laughs> at some points. Yeah. I'm just like, because I, what, I, I did that whole thing where I dropped down to 205, which me dropping down to 205 is a lot different than like your 205 because 205 for me is skinny. Still fat. No. Oh, no. I'm I was, sorry. Yeah. Fat as fuck. My nipples were huge. <laughs> My nipples were dinner plates. But uh, at 205, that's skinny for me, like very skinny. And that was the skinniest I've been since like eighth grade and was pretty jacked. Hung out with like the hottest dudes, yeah. <laughs> wore the freshest outfits, yeah. went off and went to the coolest places. Mm-hmm. Um, and I still didn't fuck. Like yeah. at all, yeah. And at that point, I it was just Do you like think you could bang in my body, not my girlfriend, because <laughs> you can't have sex with her in my body. <laughs> <laughs> well, first I'm fucking your girlfriend. No, <laughs> and then all of your previous girlfriends. Oh, uh, you just start hitting them up. <laughs> yes. Hey, what? It's, it's James and David's body. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> hey, it's me, James and David. You body. literally can't even let me have your phone. Yeah. In. The idea that I'm going to text your girlfriends as you. Imagine if I'm just you. I'm sending those bitches snail mail, fucking AOL, hot message, <laughs> fucking everything, dude. Um, yeah. It, yeah, I'm sending dick pics from, <laughs> from your body. That's what you do anyways, right? Yeah, I just do that anyway. <laughs> just it's keep no rocking problem. it. There's no problem. Um, I think about this premise a lot. Um, sometimes I think, okay, my 13-year-old self jumps to right now. <laughs> and takes over my body. How yeah. does he react? What does he do? Jerks off a lot. You think so? Yeah. Well, no, because he he lives with a girlfriend now. Um, it'd probably be very awkward sex. It would be something. Huh? He would probably be like, Ooh. I asked, I, I asked my girlfriend. I was like, Do you think you would notice a thirteen year old David fucking you? <laughs> you, you, could, you think you could tell? Holy shit! That's that. That's one of the funniest questions you can ask. <laughs> Do you think you would notice? Thirteen-year-old uh, David, could you imagine? <laughs> How does somebody take that? <laughs> you... I don't think. I think. I think she. She said she would notice. I don't think she would notice that much. No, I don't think that you've changed that much. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. 13-year-old me would be so confused. About what? Me. What your life is? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, I would be upset with my hair. Yeah. No, but I would have known it was coming. You think so? Yeah. Um, It would have been surprising. What would, I mean, 13-year-old me would be like, dude, you're, you're not in the NFL. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Did 13-year-old you think you were going to be in the NFL? Yeah. Really? Yes. <laughs> Undoubtedly, look, if you just looked at your brothers, they didn't get over six foot, both yeah. of them. Yeah. So we're. But I was taller than them at that time. Yeah, but you're not gonna grow. Yes, I how, could. How tall was your dad? Nine feet. I don't know. Also not six <laughs> feet. <laughs> yeah, I'm the tallest person in my family. What did you like think you're gonna be the time. fucking quarterback? No. What did you? You thought you're gonna be lineman, right? The strongest man alive. So, what position would you play? Fucking all of them. <laughs> you have to be... A... All right, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, I'm wrong. No, yeah, I'm wrong. Hey, don't shit on 13-year-old I'm James. wrong. The 13-year-old you was right. What, what did 13-year-old David think he was going to do? An astronaut. <laughs> I just imagine you in 13-year-old you in your body grabbing an astronaut helmet. Off to work. <laughs> No, I thought for a second I was going to be a lawyer, but really? I didn't like law at all. <laughs> <laughs> I had no interest in it. You know what the funny thing about that is? Yeah. You didn't think that. Your mother did. Your yeah, mother, many people have told me that your I was mother, be a lawyer. Well, because your mom probably was like, little Dave would be a good lawyer, huh? <laughs> uh, I used to argue with my mom a lot. Okay. And that was the, the whole premise of people thinking I was a lawyer. Hey, do you remember that doing, was as deep as it went? Do you remember doing this thing where you put your fingers together and, and you would see pussy? You see pussy, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I see pussy for real. It's a little woogie woogie woogie, <laughs> rocket power. That's not cool. All right, are we done here yet? No, I think that we oh, got close. Fifty six. Yeah, we're oh shit, dude. This time kind of flew by. Let's. You want to talk about Avatar? We did. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. Want to spoil? Got to... You got any movies that you want to spoil that we spoiled in the last one that? Uh, we spoiled Inception. That was pretty good. Straight Snape kills gay Dumbledore. Yeah, 
Hey, oh, J.K. Rowling's fucking trending on Twitter. Yeah, in, she hates like trans people or something. In like a crazy time right yeah, now. Yeah, I didn't really, I didn't look any of it up, so I don't, she, don't, don't go crazy because I think there's like misinformation going right now. She tweeted something along the lines of trans people take away from same sex affection. I don't know what that means. She's saying that because um, a trans man, like, or a trans woman, like, that takes away from the fact of same sex, like, gay affection. And that it's like, it's it's hurtful to the LGBTQT or whatever uh, cause. So she believes that because, like, although a trans woman who was biologically a man at first is like say dating another like say a man or something uh because he was a man at first but then became a woman and is now dating a man it takes away from the legitimacy of man and man this is all way over my head it's reading it i I was like i have no idea but i kind of like broken down a little bit more i kind of understood it but at the same time didn't understand it pretty much what she's saying is that like trans people i think she was trying to get at the trans people are like hurtful to the lgbtqt cause or whatever or whatever because of same-sex affection just not being if that's what legitimized said, um that is verbatim the the actual thing is uh trans people take away from the same-sex affection thing I don't really know what goes on in J.K. Rowling's head. I got no idea. I, I said I was talking because uh, Jorm is a big reader. I found out last night, and we were talking about this. Harry Potter. I, he read a lot. He read Harry Potter a lot, yeah. and he also re- read Lord of the Rings quite a few times. Okay. He enjoys Lord of the Rings movies more than Harry Potter movies, but well, but he read through Harry Potter quite a bit. Uh, but I said this thing. Uh, I said that J.K. Rowling's kind of always been a backpedaler and kind of like a uh, person that tries to like almost. It seems like she tries to, she wants to appear appease, more woke yeah, appease to people. Or, She's yeah. fake woke, yeah. Because yeah. like maybe Dumbledore was gay in her mind forever, but was there like a lot of it in the books pointing to it? Within, or, from what I remember, from within the Harry Potter, it was. It, he it never was uh, specifically said he's gay. Mm-hmm. It, it was there was like potential, but him being outwardly gay was never like it's just like a kid's book. So like yeah. sexuality was never touched whatsoever in it. Um, she also like fake put like a Jewish person in the book too, didn't she? She just like went back back and added and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, true. Like like constantly. She, like um, here's something that she added that's complete bullshit, and I know it was. Uh, Nagini being like a Korean woman the whole time, yeah, and not just being a snake. That she just added that shit later on, and she like, she had gone on record and said that she knew that Nagini was a Korean lady the whole time, which is just <laughs> that's just not true. Yeah, that's. Um, I was watching this girl YouTuber that I can never remember her name. She was talk- Emma Chamberlain. No, it's it's not like a popular one. It's like she just reviews like pop culture stuff. Okay. And was she with the nostalgia critic? No. Okay. And she was talking about Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the second one, Tales of Grindelwald. Yep. And she was never seen that movie. She was also talking about how J.K. Rowling has said explicitly that she thought Nagini, she knew all along from the beginning, that Nagini was a Korean woman. Yeah. So she was like, I just picture J.K. Rowling scribbling down on that bar writing Harry Potter like. <laughs> Harry in a cupboard, the snake is a Korean woman. (laughs) (laughs) Just like bang bang, always knew from the beginning. (laughs) That's yeah, she's just fucking. I I think that she's off the shits. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on with her. (laughs) I don't like her. Yeah, I just don't. Um, I just wish she would just like. You want to take me to McDonald's? No, we're done here. (laughs) Happy birthday! Thank you.